Okay guys, it is DevKing here, back with another video, and welcome back to your 6th tutorial, or maybe 5th, I don't even know. Anyways, <laughs> welcome back to your um, advanced tutorial series, and anyways guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you about the mouse and how to use the mouse and like how to detect if a player like clicked you know or stuff like that so this is a pretty important video it's not too difficult so um you know you know it's gonna be pretty easy and um yeah but before we get into it guys make sure you go ahead and watch the beginner series if you are new to my channel or else you, you might be very confused so yeah link to the beginner stuff is in the description below anyways let's go ahead and start okay so First things first, we're going to go ahead and insert a local script because the only way you can get the mouse is from a local script because you know you can't get the mouse from the server because it's like because that's that's a server you know it's not a person so you have to use a local script. I'm gonna go ahead and put it inside of the actually I'll put it in the starter pack. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the script in the starter pack. There you go. All right. So now first things first, we need to get our player. So local player is equal to game dot players dot local player now I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this it's just how to get your player and how to find out you know like who he is and you know you can yeah now you have a player right anyways so now we have to get the mouse from the player so what we do for that is we're gonna do local mouse is equal to player and then get mouse now it's kind of weird the player it's okay like the mouse isn't a property of the player but you have to use this function to get the mouse so yeah you use your player variable and then you you know get your mouse like that so now we have a, a player and our mouse okay so now with our mouse we can do a few things now I'll go ahead and show you in the object browser exactly what we can do but um we can also do more stuff uh, anyways okay alright so get your object browser you're gonna go ahead and go to your view tab over here click object browser and then you have your object browser here so basically if you scroll down to mouse um, let's find it uh, what letters M M okay mouse right there perfect okay now we have mouse and basically here are all of the events and the functions for the mouse and all the properties for it too so button one down so what does button one down do so button one down um, is, is the event it's pretty much like click but basically it means whenever your mouse button goes down so right now I go I don't know if you heard that but my mouse button is now down I haven't let go of it yet so it's still down so right now this event would still be firing right and then button one up is when I let go of the mouse so I let go and then and then it goes that's the this event fires and then button two is the right click mouse but it says the event is currently not op is currently non-operational so it may not work right now for some reason so um, yeah I don't know why but anyways um, yeah that's what that does and then you have um, X and Y which um, basically give you like the pixel so on the X axis you know it's like 1920 or yeah no no it's like yeah 1920 by 1080 right so you got 1920 so anywhere here you know okay okay <laughs> you know what I'll just show you guys but anyways yeah those are a few things that they do a few things that they do and um, yeah you might want to look through this because there's a lot more to mouses than just that but um, I'll be showing you just the uh, events right now or just a few events okay so I'm gonna show you guys the mouse dot uh, click event or mouse dot button one down so mouse dot button one down um, why, wait why does it look like that that looks so weird okay anyways is this syntax wrong? I, I don't know. Why does it have that error right there? <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, but anyways, let me go here. So mouse dot button one down. So mouse dot button one down. Um, dot connect function. Wait, what am I? No. Okay, okay. Wait, my bad. I think. Okay, no, no, no. Dot <laughs> or no connect f function. And then, um, bro, okay, I, I cannot write anything today. All right, there you go. All right, so now we've got the event mouse down button one da down connect function. So now we're going to go ahead and print um, player um, pressed mouse down. Okay, so basically now, as you can see here, um, whenever the mouse is down, the player is going to print out player pressed mouse down. So here we go. And I don't know why I prints this. I'm, I'm really confused, actually. I don't know why this is here. But um, anyways, so now if I hold this down, as you can see there, player, or actually, whenever I click it, it actually goes down. Or whenever I you know, press the mouse down, it prints that. So it doesn't just keep printing it when it's down. It actually only prints it once. So yeah. Anyways, then you got the same thing with mouse button up. 
Um, I'm, I mean, I'll show you guys real quick. Plus, uh, mouse player, mouse up. And, you know, whenever you let go of your mouse after it's down, it's going to print. So right now I'm going to click. Nothing happens. But if I let go, now it prints that, you see. So, yeah. Okay, that's basically what that does. And, um, yeah. Anyways, so that's what you do for that. And now let me show you guys a few um, like properties in the mouse that you can use. So those are pretty useful whenever you want to see if um, you know, like, like you know, if someone clicked. Also, another cool event is if it's idle. So if the mouse isn't moving at all, or it's not being clicked, or no buttons are being pressed, basically that this event will be running. It's idle. So that's actually pretty cool. You can tell if someone's AFK or like if they're not doing anything. So yeah. Um, and then you got mouse move. So if the mouse were to move. So like if I did this, the vent would fire. Or if I did this, you know. So um, I'll go ahead and show you that too. So mouse dot move connect function, and then um, prints mouse moved. And then as you can see here, um, there you go. Every time it moves, it, it prints. As you can see, uh, there you go. Obviously, it's not printing again. It just says times one nine six over here because um, you know it's it's uh, it's not printing twice. But um, I mean it is printing. I'm sorry, but it doesn't like show again in the output. But anyways, that's what it does. And now another cool thing you can do with this is you can actually get the mouse or whenever people use mouse dot move. Normally they use it to you know like t or people use the x and y value right here. So you can do this too. You can do prints. Um, Actually, let me get rid of this because now you already know that. But you can do print mouse dot x, and then you can print mouse dot y. And now what this is going to do is this is going to just print. Okay, actually, let me format that better. <laughs> it's going to print the mouse y and the x value. So I'm just going to put a comma here, actually, and then do mouse dot y. And now when you put a comma in a print statement and you put two different um, things, it's just going to print it on the same line. And there's a big little space between it. So yeah. So now you're getting, um, you know, the the dimension or the where your mouse is in the in the game um, in pixels. So yeah. So as you can see here, up top left, zero zero makes sense. Obviously, I can't get it exactly, but makes sense. And then over here, um, it's not it's not full 1920 by 1080, so it gives me you know the max value. So yeah. And also another cool thing we can do with mouses is you can actually find out like what the mouse is hovering over so what I mean by that is like it's called hit right and basically um, if there's a part right here right there's a part we call it door okay this part is called door if this mouse or if our mouse is hovering over it so right now it's hovering over it it would actually tell us and if it's not hovering over it it would you know it would say nil or no sorry it, it would actually if you're hovering over like the, the sky box right here or the sky it would say nil and then any part you're hovering over it would actually print out for you so i'm actually going to try that out right now and um, so we're going to do mouse dot hit so that's what the variable or that's what the property is called the hit of it so um yeah you can see it there and uh, let me see how this looks so, oh yeah, okay, see, oh, wait, 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 <laughs> oh, I'm using the wrong one, I'm using the wrong one, okay, sorry, mouse.hit is, um, like, the coordinate frame, so basically, where it is, so that, that, that's a big number right there, right, but basically, that's, like, um, like, where it is, where the mouse is in the workspace, so, don't, don't worry about that, actually, don't, <laughs> that's a little confusing, you know, mouse.target is what I meant, mouse.target is, um, like, the, the part, the part the mouse currently over, so let me show you what I mean. All right. Um, so look, so right now it says nil, right? And nil basically means it's not equal to any value, so nothing, right? And then as you can see, when I hover over the door, it says door, right? And now it, it prints whenever I move the mouse because I have it inside of the, the mouse move event. Um, so yeah. And then base plate, you know, as you can see there. And then you have me. And actually, it doesn't do for me. That's kind of weird. But um, yeah. So that's kind of cool, I guess. And um, basically, that's what the mouse.target thing does. And then you have target filter, which is like um, you can set parts that you want it to ignore, which is kind of cool. And then you have um, more stuff about the mouse, and yeah. Oh, also you can change the icon of the mouse, which is pretty cool. So I'm sure what I mean by that too. We can do um, mouse dots. I don't know where's mouse. I just lost it. Okay, the icon. So as you can see here, whenever I have my mouse out right here, you can see my mouse, right? Like I I can't point to my own mouse, but my mouse is right here, moving, right? This mouse can actually change. You can change the icon of the mouse. So, it, for example, if you want it to be like a 
a circle, you could do that. Or you want it to be like a you know like a Roblox player, that'd be kind of weird. But you could do that too. So uh, actually, let's try that out right now. Right now. So we're gonna do um, uh, mouse dot icon is equal to. Oh, actually, you know what? I have to put the whole asset ID there. I don't have an asset ID right now. But okay, never mind. But you can do that right now. If you want to look into that, you can. We'll just look on the wiki. But um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Um, I'm sorry it was a bit of a long one. <laughs> um, hopefully you guys didn't get confused. I don't think it's too confusing. So um, yeah. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you did enjoy the tutorial. If you did, like always, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.